So welcome to Yoga in the Park. Today I'm going to be going through a couple of moves with you all for the kind of sequence that we'll be doing on the morning of the 11th of May. Whether you've done yoga before or you're very much new to the practice, there is something for absolutely everybody, which I'm going to show you through the next um, few minutes or so. So roll out your mat, forget about everything and just really enjoy the next few minutes with me. And I look forward to seeing you all there on the morning. So we're going to come to the front of our mats and you're going to bring your feet together and you're going to lift the toes and you're going to spread them into the floor so you've got that sense of grounding from the very beginning. You're going to be soft in the knees and you're going to engage your thighs and engage your core. The core is going to support your breath. So relax the shoulders, the hands release either side of the body. You're going to draw your navel in and lift up through your chest and you're going to softly close the eyes. So just starting to block out everything around you or distractions. Doesn't matter if you're practicing next to somebody or if someone's in front of you, you're entirely dedicated to your own practice and your own time here. So just start to relax the body to so allow the shoulders to drop down towards the floor. And once again, we're soft in those knees. And then I want you to bring your attention to your breath very important in yoga to help clear the mind and by working with the breath it allows us to escape from all the other thoughts that are clogging up the mind from day to day it also helps the body to relax and find your way through your practice so just taking gentle inhalations through your nose and exhale through your nose inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. Let's do one more deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Take one more deep breath for me in through your nose. And this time through your mouth, let out a big cleansing exhalation. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. And once again through your mouth, a big cleansing exhalation. Loosen the grip of your body with every exhalation you take. Now I want you to internalize your breath once again. So inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. And we're going to start to move the body gently, but with the movement of the breath. So mind, body flow using your breath. So blink the eyes open. You're going to take a deep breath in as you reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, you're going to hinge from the hips and you're going to start to fold forwards as the hands release down towards your shins, coming into a forward fold there. Inhale, lift up through your chest as you straighten into your back. This is called a halfway lift. As you exhale, think of the exhalation, you're going to sink down. So you exhale, come down, bend the knees, hands ground into the floor, step the left leg and the right leg back. So you're coming into a high plank position. From here, we're going to drop the knees, untuck the toes, and you're going to brush the elbows past the rib cage as you come down through a half press. This is called half chaturanga in yoga. As you inhale, you're going to lift the sternum, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulders together and come into a heart baby cobra. As you exhale, push through your hands, shift the hips back, bend the knees, tuck the toes, lift your hips, and you're gonna come into your downward facing dog. One of the most famous poses in yoga. If you haven't practiced yoga before, you've more than likely heard of this pose. So your feet are hip distance apart, and to take the pressure off your back, you're gonna bend the knees as much as you want to there. Lift the pelvis and push the ground away from you with your hands, spread the fingers wide, Relax the shoulders and allow your head to fall in between your hands there. And you're going to take three deep breaths. If that's too much pressure on your wrists, you can work in a tabletop position. So dropping the knees to the floor and untuck your toes. Take the pressure off the wrists there. So by now you should be on your third breath. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. As you inhale next, you're going to look forward and you're going to take some baby steps forward with your right foot and your left foot. As you exhale, you're going to fold forward. So drop that body weight all the way down. Inhale, take your arms all the way up, reach for the sky and you can look in front or towards your thumbs if that's comfortable on your neck. And as you take a big exhalation out through your nose, you're going to release your hands down either side of your body there. 
So that's called sun salutation. We're going to do it one more time, a little bit smoother and a little bit quicker. So take a deep breath in, raise the arms up high, relax the shoulders, look to the thumbs if that's comfortable. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold forwards. Hands come to the shins. If you're a bit more flexible in your hamstrings, you can bring the hands to your ankles or to the floor. Take a deep breath in, halfway lift and lengthen, lift up through your chest. As you exhale, bend the knees, hands come down, step back with the left leg and the right leg. You can lower down through that half press or if you're feeling strong today, you can lower down through a full press there. So brush your rib cage with your elbows. Untuck the toes and you're gonna push up into your upward facing dog. So sink the hips, lift the chest and relax those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, tuck the left toe and the right toe and come back into your downward facing dog for five deep breaths this time. Soften those knees, take the pressure off the lower back and lift up through your tailbone so you're getting the length into your hamstrings there. Relax the shoulders, the head is heavy. Now at any point, if you, if you need to have a few moments of stillness and rest, you can drop the knees to the floor and come into your child's pose. If you want to spend the rest of the practice in the pose, this pose, that's absolutely okay. Arms reach out in front, sit far back to the heels as you can, and then the chest and forehead sink down towards the floor. And you're just going to take a nice deep breath there, two or three breaths there. So whether you're in your downward dog or your child's pose, you're going to find your way back into your downward dog. You're going to inhale, look forward, step the right and the left leg forwards and exhale, come back into that forward fold, drop the body weight there. Inhale, push through the feet, soften the knees, raise the arms up towards the sky and exhale, hands release down towards your heart center. So that's your sun salutation A, and that's what we'll be doing on the morning of Friday the 11th. I want you to then take your feet hip distance apart. We're gonna get a little bit more opening into the hips and the back of the hamstrings now. Hands are gonna to come to the hips. You're gonna inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you lift up through your chest, look up. And as you take a deep breath out, you're gonna hinge from the pelvis and start to come into your forward fold. Keep soft in the knees, but keep lifting up through your tailbone. As soon as that comes into a nice pull in the hamstrings, then bring the body to stillness with keeping your hands on your hips or releasing your hands down to your shins or your ankles, only if that's comfortable and you have a bit more opening into your hamstrings, or even you have the option to hook your big toes with your peace fingers there, but only take how you feel comfortable today. Take a deep breath in and lengthen, work with the breath. And as you exhale, close the space as much as possible between your belly and your thighs as you lengthen deeper into your forward fold. Look down towards your toes, keep your neck in line with your back. Yoga is all about alignment and a healthy stacking of the joints. And just work here for two more breaths. Try and relax into this pose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hands then release back up to the hips. You're going to inhale, steadily come all the way back up to standing. And exhale, release the hands either side of the body and bring the feet back together. From there, we're going to step back into our triangle pose. So take a big step back with the left foot. Back foot's turning to the side. Front foot is nice and straight, facing out to about 12 o'clock there. Arms are gonna come up to shoulder level. Relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath in as you draw up length through your navel. As you exhale, reach forward with your right hand and then release the right hand to the inside of your shin there. If that's still too tight on your hips and the side of your body, then even bring that hand up to the inside of your knee. Take a deep breath in and lengthen. And as you exhale, looking out to the sides or even rolling your gaze up towards your top hand. Challenge your balance here. Soft in that right knee. You're gonna roll the left hand side of the body back. So you've got that wonderful opening on the side of the body. So it's a progression pose here. We're inhale lengthening. And exhale, rolling that top shoulder back. Inhale lengthening. And exhale, rolling that top shoulder back. So 
So we're going to stay in that pose about five breaths or so. Before we inhale, come all the way up, arms come to shoulder level. And then we turn the right foot in and the left foot out to come onto the other side. So make sure that left foot's nice and straight, relax the shoulders, take a deep breath in and lengthen. Exhale, reaching forwards, take the left hand gently to the inside of the knee or the shin, soft in that left knee. Inhale, rolling that right shoulder back to expose your chest to the side and then rolling your gaze up towards your fingers if that is available there. Keeping the length all the way from the bottom arm across the chest to the top arm so you're opening space across the chest there. Fill the lungs with nice deep breaths. So again, taking that pose for about five breaths or so. After the fifth breath, we're gonna inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Turn the left foot in and the right foot out, coming into our warrior two pose. So we're gonna ground the feet, bend into that right knee. Now in yoga, it's all about stacking the joints, healthy alignment of the joints. We wanna make sure the knees directly above your ankle there. Relax the shoulders, both feet are grounded through all four corners of your feet and you're gonna gaze out to the middle finger of your right hand there. Hold that gaze, core is tight, and you're gonna breathe there for five deep breaths. Remember, everyone's breathing pattern is different, so if the person next to you or behind you is a slightly faster or a slightly slower breath than you, that's fine, take it at your own pace. So after five breaths here, we're gonna come up to standing, turn the right foot in and the left foot out as we come into the other side. So bend into that left knee, the knee is directly above the left ankle. Relax the shoulders, palms facing down, gazing out to the middle finger of your left hand. Inhale for one. And exhale. Inhale for two. And exhale. And again, we're holding that pose for about five breaths. After the fifth breath, straighten the front leg, turn the left foot in and the right foot out. And then we're gonna bring the hands either side of the right foot as you bend into the right knee, coming through that sun salutation flow we took at the beginning, just to smooth the body out of any tension after holding those poses for five breaths. So we're gonna inhale, upward dog, sink the hips, lift up through your chest, and exhale, bend the knees, tuck the toes, and lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. Or once again, if you wanna come into your child's pose there, that's a really nice chance for you just to take a few moments of stillness. Really encouraging to see this pose, taken at points throughout your yoga practice. Just a chance to bring your mind and your body to stillness and relaxation. So after a few breaths there, finding your way back into your downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale, look forwards and step forward with the right foot and the left foot and exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, come all the way up. Once again, we're gonna reach for the sky nice and high and exhale, hands release down towards your heart center coming into your tree pose. Now I'm gonna face this side so you can see from head on. We're gonna ground through the left foot. Bring your right foot to the inside of your ankle, the inside of your shin or if you pr regularly practice yoga, you can bring your foot to the inside of your thigh there, but avoiding any weight gain on the inside of your knee. So no weight gain against the joints at all, above or below. So I'm gonna pick the shin here. We're gonna roll that knee back in line with the hips. So we're opening into the pelvis there. Hands are gonna come to your heart center. And we're just gonna find our balance here for a few breaths. So soft in that knee. That's the left knee, the grounding knee. And when you find your breath, we're gonna play around with this pose a bit. So like a tree, we're gonna inhale, reach for the sky. And then we're gonna take our hands out wide onto the diagonal and relax the shoulders. Keep drawing that right knee out in line with your hip. Relax in the face, one more deep breath. And exhale, hands come back together, release down to your heart center and we release that right foot back down towards the floor. Really nice and perhaps taking just a few circles into that left foot, reaching any tension into that left side there. And now your weight's distributed into the opposite foot, we're gonna stay there. So right foot, uh, left foot, sorry, comes to the inside of your ankle, inside of your shin, 
or inside of your thigh, only if that's available in your practice today. So finding whichever position works for you, hands draw together at your heart center. Relax the shoulders, soft in that right knee. Try not to lock that knee in if you can help it. So relaxing the shoulders, find your gaze directly out in front of you to help you find stillness in this pose. And on your next inhalation, reaching high to the sky and bringing those arms out to the side like a tree. Relax the shoulders and breathe. And again, that's five breaths on that pose. After the fifth breath, bring the hands back together, release them down towards the heart center, and then release that left foot back to standing into our standing pose here. And then the final pose, which everybody loves, corpse pose, or in yoga terms, we call Shavasana. And it's a lovely relaxation pose to allow the body to completely settle after your dynamic practice. So that's lying on the floor, Feet out long with the feet rolled out to the sides and the hands at either side of the body with the palms facing up. Any lower back tension whatsoever, any twinges at all, you're going to keep your feet wide and allow the knees to fall in towards each other there. And you're just going to close the eyes in exactly the same way. And we're just going to relax here for a few minutes. That's right, minutes. As we just lay at peace with ourselves in complete stillness. I'll then eventually bring you back by wiggling your fingers and your toes, just bringing gentle awareness back into the body. You're then going to bring the feet together and arms above your head and take a deep breath in as you'd like a pencil, take a full body stretch and just awaken yourself back up. And then as you exhale, you're going to roll over onto your right hand side. It's like a recovery position and you're going to spend a few moments there. And with your eyes closed, you're going to find your way back up to a comfortable seated position. So that's cross legged. Hands are going to come together at your heart centered like we do traditionally in yoga. And you're going to rub your palms together to bring warmth into your hands. And you're going to release your hands over your closed eyes. Take a deep breath in. And as you take a deep breath out through your mouth, you're going to blink your eyes open to the darkness of your palms. Release your hands to your heart center. And in traditional yogic way, we're going to release the head down towards your fingertips and say namaste. So that's it. Um, really looking forward to seeing as many of you as there as possible on Friday the 11th. Even if you've never done yoga before, I will be there guiding you through every single pose. And we're going to have so much fun as well as raising money for an amazing cause. Thank you very much.